we want to use long division to find the quotient. We have a three-digit number divided by a two-digit number. The first step is to write the quotient in long division form, which is this form here. So we have 898 divided by 38. To begin performing long division, we normally only consider the leftmost digit of the dividend, which should be this 8. But because 8 is less than the divisor of 38, we also consider the next digit. So we begin by considering 89. We begin by determining how many 38s in 89. And that's not necessarily an easy question. So what we could do is round both 38 and 89 to the nearest 10 and consider that quotient. So 38 would round to 40, and 89 would round to 90. So we could use this quotient to help us determine the first digit in this quotient. Using this quotient, it's easier to recognize there are two 40s and 90, because 2 times 40 equals 80, and we have a remainder of 10. So because there are two 40s and 90, it's reasonable to assume there would be two 38s in 89. So let's begin by placing a 2 in the quotient in the tens place value. And now we multiply by the divisor. So 2 times 8 is 16. So we place a 6 here, perform an exchange with the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now when we find this difference, if it's less than the divisor of 38, the 2 is correct. If it's greater than or equal to 38, the 2 is not correct, and we'd need to increase it. Notice how when we subtract here, we get 13. 13 is less than the divisor of 38, so the 2 is correct. Our next step is to bring the next digit in the dividend down, which is the 8 here. So now we need to consider 138. We need to determine how many 38s there are in 138. If we round both numbers to the tens, 38 would round to 40, and 138 would round to 140. So if it's helpful, we can determine how many 40s are on 140 to help us determine how many 38s in 138. So looking at this quotient, 3 times 140 would be 120. Notice how we have a remainder of 20. But because there are three 40s in 140, it's reasonable to assume there would be three 38s in 138. So let's try a three for the next digit in our quotient. So we place a three in the ones place value of the quotient. Now we multiply by the divisor. Three times eight is 24. Perform an exchange with the two. Three times three is nine plus two is 11. And we subtract. Again, if this difference is less than 38, we know the 3 is correct. And notice how the difference is 24, which is less than 38, which means the 3 is correct. Also notice how we have now used all the digits in the dividend, and therefore we're done. This last difference gives us our remainder. So 898 divided by 38 equals 23, with a remainder of 24. So because we have a remainder, that means 38 does not divide evenly into 898, and therefore 38 is not a factor of 898. This division problem also tells us that the quotient of 23 times the divisor of 38 plus the remainder of 24 equals 898. We simplify the left side. 23 times 38 equals 874. And 874 plus 24 does equal 898. I hope you found this helpful.